Hi guys, what is up and welcome back to my channel. So as you guys can tell, we are doing a little Valentine's Day themed get ready with me. It's February, I love Valentine's Day. I love all the pinks and the reds and the hearts and the lovey-dovey. I just think it's all just so fun and cute. So I'm really excited to be filming this video today. The theme of this video is going to be in partner with Ana Luisa. Thank you, Ana Luisa, so much for sponsoring today's video. We are doing love stories with Ana Luisa today. It's a fun little Valentine's themed thing that they're doing this year. I'm so excited. I obviously love Josh and I'm so excited to be sharing my love story with Josh and how we met and just kind of how our relationship grew into what you guys see today. I thought that would be just such a fun, cute little story and another way to just chit chat and hang out with you guys. But yeah, if you guys are interested in trying out Ana Luisa, I will obviously have all my stuff linked down below. I do have a 20% off code and this is like the best time of the year if you guys have any like pieces in mind or anything from Ana Luisa to send it to your mans or your partner so you can get on that and they can give you guys some cute little gifts. They are also perfect for gifting to other people like a mom, a friend. Their jewelry shines without tarnishing the planet. They are carbon neutral. They send them in these cute little baggies that you can reuse for whatever you'd like or they make really great traveling guys for your jewelry so your necklaces and stuff don't get all tingled up but yeah overall they're just some great quality long-lasting tarnish free items that i just love you guys know basically my entire jewelry collection is all anna luisa i'm actually also thinking about doing a whole video of my jewelry collection and like how i like styling a lot of it just because i always get a lot of questions on all of my jewelry and i think it would just be nice to have as much of it like up front as I can get for you guys so let me know if that's something you're interested in but yeah I just love Annalisa and I'm really excited to be filming this video with you guys today I'm going to just put my hair back have you guys seen the funny TikToks of the girls like with the pillow like neck pillows making fun of girls with these headbands literally cracks me up but this stuff works so nicely and just gets your hair out of your face and I'm obsessed with it so before we get started I'm actually going to share the pieces I got from Anna Luisa I'm obsessed with them you guys know I love Love themes I love holidays I love having fun with it so I'm really excited for these pieces this is probably my favorite thing I'm excited to style today especially when you guys see the whole outfit and everything I got these little heart dangly little earrings I think they are absolutely precious and just such a fun way to get in the little Valentine spirit I'm also gonna wear them I have a Galentine's party this weekend and I'm totally gonna wear them for it because I think they're just so perfect. And I can't wait to share my outfit and all of that stuff in that vlog with you guys this weekend. And then I also got this cute little like double way arrow. I don't even know like if that's the right term of saying that, but I think it's so freaking cute. And I wear this one. This is like my everyday necklace lately. And I thought like this would be so cute together. So I got that. And then this last item's not like super V-Day related, but it is one of the coolest rings ever. It is the Evan ring. It just like wraps around, like it looks like a big drop. Like, you know, like, I don't know, like liquidy or like melted like metal, I guess. I don't know. I think it looks really cool. So I'm excited to style these pieces today. I also already did my skincare just to save some time on this video. The first thing I'm gonna do is go in with this Rare Beauty priming mist i actually love the way this mist comes out and the way it feels let's get started with our love story so josh and i actually met a year before we even started dating so we met in i think it was march of 2015 just was like really depressed and stuff. So one of my best friends was like, okay, get your ass off the couch, like stop. Wa I was like binge watching Walking Dead in my parents' basement and like playing video games. It was so pathetic. But she called me out for it and she was like, dude, like we're gonna get you out there. Like, let's go have some fun. Like, let's go to Boulder for the weekend. And I was like, okay, cool. And we went to Sigma Nu. We went to a party there and I was pretty drunk. <laughs> and I remember sitting on the stage dancing with my friend and um i was like looking in the crowd and i saw josh and i like for the life of me like could not figure out how i knew him and i kind of just put it to instagram i think we might have even followed each other but i can't remember but i just recognized his face and i was like that guy is so so hot and so my friend kelly which you guys all know she was like let's go talk to him and so i was like screw it like i'm i got some alcohol courage like let's go have some fun also, I'm not looking for too heavy of a look, so I'm just gonna kind of damp over this. So my friend Kelly pulled <laughs> us me over to him, and we just like, I don't even know how I initiated the conversation, 
but I just remember at one point being like, I think your name's Jake and him like very clearly telling me his name was Josh. And I'm pretty sure I mistakenly called him Jake like a few more times throughout the night. But yeah, so we just like ended up talking that night. We hit it off like really well. I'll even put a picture here. Like guys, the picture I'm like where I'm in the background just staring at him, like the claws were out, like baby was hungry. He and I just like literally talked, we danced, we had some drinks, like it was so fun. And then towards the end of the night, like we had to like go separate ways and we shared like Snapchat and our phone numbers. I kind of still had feelings for my ex. Like I just wasn't ready to like pursue someone else. And I think he was kind of in that same spot where, you know, you're freshman in college, like you're just trying to have fun. Literally like a year later in the summer. So that was March of 2015. And then in, let's see here. I think it was like June or May or June of 2016, he like Snapchatted me. And I remember the Snapchat, it was, he had like a Mercedes, um, it was his dad's by the way at this point. And he was in his car and he was like in a nice suit cause that's when he had started doing like his real estate stuff and like working. Um, and he sent me like this picture and it just it was like very attractive. I was like, that's hot. And he was like, what are you doing tonight? And I'm not kidding you, like we had snapped every once in a while. Every time I went up to go like party up at CSU and stuff, like we'd Snapchat and I'd be like, hey, like I'm in town, like would love to see you, whatever. Or like vice versa, every time he was down, he'd be like, hey, like I'm coming to see some buddies, like are you around? Um, and I don't think we actually ended up hanging out at all in that year long space. And he was like, what are you doing tonight? And I was like, um, nothing, like what's up? Like I work until, like I think I worked until like four that day, back in the day when I was a little day queen girl. And he was like, me and my buddies are having some people over at our place in Fort Collins tonight. Like as like a last two rocks, they were moving out of that apartment. And he was like, you should come. And I was like, okay. I was saving up for a car, so I had no way to get up there. So I'm like asking my sister and her friends. And then I finally got my other friend, Kelly, who is such an OG in our relationship story. Like it's insane. But she, I got her to want to go out and I was like, let's go, like it'll be fun, like girls night, like whatever. We all went up there. I'm gonna maybe put some pictures on the screen here because I just think this is so fun, kind of reminiscing. Um, but we went up and some of his friends kind of bailed so there wasn't like a whole lot going on or a whole lot of people. I also had other friends up there that I went and saw as well since I was already up there. So we ended up like hanging out that night and I'm gonna be honest like we had like a small little makeout like we made out on like the couch And then I did spend the night with him, which was like <laughs> Aggressive, but like I'm not kidding you guys like I will share the picture of us at his countertop that night talking I was smitten over this kid and I just was like being so stupid though like of like locking it down so we went up like stayed the night hooked up and we, all we did was make out like literally nothing crazy happened and it was just like really nice because he never like pressured me or like made me feel like we had to do anything like he was just very caring and just like literally husband material like right away and the next morning i was like so nervous that like <clears throat> i don't know it was like so relationship vibes to me that i kind of panicked and he was like woke up and he like wanted to take me to breakfast and i was like i'm so sorry like i worked today i didn't work that day i was just so nervous and was like i had to leave so I left and we just kind of snapchatted here and there after that and just kind of like left it alone again and then like a week later my mom calls me in the bathroom and I'm like like I'm in so much trouble <laughs> and she's like who is this and she shows her the picture that I just showed you guys on the screen and I was like oh like that's just this kid Josh that I've been talking to like nothing serious and she was like Ashley like this is a good looking like what are you doing she was like, he looks like Ryan Gosling and Ryan Reynolds in one. Like, what are you doing? And I was just like, mom, I don't know. Like, I just got out of like a really long relationship. I'm just like trying to have fun right now. And she was like, Ashley, if you don't ask him out, like your sister's going to. And I was like, what? I was like, Brick Cat, I literally made out with him twice. And my mom was like, he's gorgeous. He has to be in this family. And I was like, okay. And then she like basically like was like, you don't have the balls, like something like that. And I'll put this text here. I texted him and I was like, hey, like, I was like, you're gonna take me out sometime, so just like let me know when. And he was like, perfect, I was just planning it in my head or something like that. And um, he said that and then we like planned a date and then I actually almost bailed and it took one of like my guy best friends, Nick, to be like, will you just go out with the guy? Like just go hang out with him, like get off my couch and go hang out with him. So I was like, whatever, I'll go out on a date with this guy. So I texted him again and 
we planned a little date. Our first date was definitely the biggest test on if this guy was gonna be able to put up with me because I was a wreck that day. Like he came to pick me up, like I couldn't figure out to wear. Like just like wait for me to like change out of a million different outfits because I had no idea what to wear. And all we were doing was going to the movies and I was just like freaking out. And he was like, you can literally wear sweats right now. It doesn't matter. And so he helped me get ready. And then we went to the movies, lost my ID like that. That was the day I realized I had no, like no idea where my ID was. And this was back at the, when the movie theaters checked your IDs to get into like R rated movies. And me being me, I obviously made him take me to a scary movie because Conjuring 2 was out. And hell yeah, I'm gonna make anyone take me to a date to see that back then. And so we went, I didn't have my ID, so we had to go to a different theater. And then we just kept trying all these different theaters that would just like not check. And then like we got lucky at the last one, which ended up being like the movie theater we go to the most now because it's just like our little spot. And we went and like we were so touchy, like the PDA was crazy, like sparks were flying. And then after that, he took me home and my dad was up front and i was like oh my gosh like this is too soon for him to like meet my parents and stuff and then obviously my dad tells my mom that like we just pulled up and then my mom's like you know like my mom was obsessed like my mom was like this has to happen so my mom like invites us in and like makes him dinner <laughs> made him a plate and then like he just like stayed he talked to my mom forever in the kitchen like they got along really well and he was so nice and sweet to my little brother and my sister my dad like gave him my dad's like a very funny like sarcastic guy and can be kind of like hard to like understand sometimes like his humor and stuff like we're very straightforward people I and mean, then he was managing it and handling it so well and i was like this is so hot like i love this and then he like didn't want to go home like he like wanted to hang out he's like so like what now what and i was like oh like you want to hang out after the date and i was like oh okay and I was like, well, we can just like go to my room and like just like watch a movie or whatever. And my mom was like, yeah, that's okay. My parents had a lot of trust for us, which was awesome. Um, so we went to my room and we just like hung out and like, I actually think we binge watched Impractical Jokers, which is now still one of our favorite shows to watch together. And then uh, he was there for a little bit, like till it got dark out, which was must have been pretty late because in the summer it doesn't get dark until like 9 30, 10 um so and then i walked him out and i just remember like shutting that door and like literally out of the movies like i shut the door and like just put my back against the door and i was like oh my god i'm in love with him i'm also gonna go in with this hula bronzer just around like some of those areas i just contoured just to, like warm it back up also i usually do this before my blush but i kind of just like got a little distracted with my story and then we just spent the whole summer together we went to Vail together for the 4th of July and then he like came and met like my whole dad's side of the family for the 4th of July as well um and then after that we just like were together every single day and then spent the whole summer together and then when I moved him in back in for his junior year of college I think that was I was like up there every weekend and then by that September he asked me to be his girlfriend I kind of yelled at him too because I was just like dude what are we doing it's been months and Josh and that like whole time just kind of just assumed we were just like together where I was like I need to know like am I your girlfriend are you my boyfriend so I like it was kind of funny like I was like not nice about it like I was just like I need to know like I, I'm obsessed with him and then he was like, fine, yeah, like, I want to date you. Like, I thought we were boyfriend, girlfriend already. And I was like, well, okay, well, you just never asked me. He's like, do you want to be my girlfriend? And I was like, yes, I do. And then we were boyfriend and girlfriend. And then that December, so a few months after we had been dating, and you guys, I knew I loved Josh after the first month. Like, I remember sitting at Dairy Queen. He, like, sent me something so sweet. And I looked at my sister, and I was like, I am in love with him. I love this man and then a few months later we ended up planning a little vegas trip because i had just turned 21 that year and we ended up doing like a road trip to vegas which like is kind of crazy like that early in a relationship um but we went to vegas and like right before we left this is so funny the night before we left i was spending the night at his house at his, like his uh, dad's stepmom's house so we could start driving first thing in that morning first thing that morning and my dad was like, all right, bye, like, love you guys. Like, my dad just says that, like, all the time. Like, he will never let that word go unsaid when you're leaving him. And he was like, my, and Josh goes, love you, man. And I looked at him and I was like, you just told my dad you love me before me. And he was like, babe, I love you. And then that's, that's the first time he told me he loved me. 
It was so cute. Um, also, I'm using this Refi eyebrow pen. I know that the white like leaves a residue, but what I do is like scrape off as much as I can. And then I'll use like the excess over my eyebrows so that it doesn't leave as much so I can try and have like a little control over it. Um, yeah. Uh, so yeah, that was the first time he said he loved me and then we went on our trip. We had a great time and like I just fell so hard in love with him. I remember we were we went for like New Year's so um, I actually was able to make my first Instagram post like like actually using the words I love you in the caption and just being like oh, We're in love And then after that we got him graduated. We went through some of our college days together and then in 2019, we moved to in together and that's when you guys come in and you've seen us ever since. Okay, and then I'm not gonna do any uh, eye makeup today because I just honestly don't wanna take it off later. But what I'm going to go do off camera in my bathroom is curl my eyelashes again and then use this Tarte Big Ego mascara because it just leaves like a really light look but it grabs like all of my lashes and makes them look very long and pretty and beautiful and I'm obsessed. I would say it does have a little bit more runoff than I would like, like if I'm sweaty or running around a lot and stuff. Um, I wonder if they have like a waterproof one or something, but it washes off really easily and I love how it applies. So I'm gonna go do this and then we'll finish this up. But yeah, I'm really excited that I got to share my little love story with you guys. It might be a long video, but uh, I just love Josh so much and like reminiscing on that just makes me so happy because we've really come so far. Like we were babies when we met, like 2015, I think we were like, 18 years old, I think 19 18 or 19 like now we're like 27 like we'll both be 28 this year like Oh, I just love him so much. Okay. I'm gonna go do my eyelashes Okay, I just went and did my mascara and then I just did my hair as well. I did these really like loose like Curler curls that I've been playing with lately that are really fun um, If you guys want like a little tutorial, I will give it to you but it's like the stupidest most simplest thing but happy to share. I'm gonna style this jewelry real quick and then we will go on to our outfit. So the first thing, also these are literally my favorite like smaller ones, like packages from Anna Luisa. I love putting like each necklace in its own like little mini one and then I can put my rings, like a ton of them in one of these big ones and it just makes traveling so much easier. So I think I am going to put my ring here I think that is going to look the best and then obviously the earrings are going in the ears so oh, i'm so excited these are just so sweet i love these earrings there's one two those are so cute i feel like i would totally just wear these year round these are so perfect one of my favorite things is styling new jewelry i love new jewelry Jewelry is just like the easiest gift, I feel like. Like literally, and I'm not just saying this to you guys go like gift it to people, but like even to myself, like one of my favorite things to buy for myself is jewelry. I love jewelry. If you guys ever hopped on the like initial train with me, this would be such a precious necklace to pair with your like initial necklace. I think this would be so cute with my J. But too bad I broke it. <laughs> this is beautiful. I literally think I just found my everyday piece to go with this necklace. Oh, that is so precious. I love where it sits on my neck too. Oh, that is beautiful. Okay, I'm literally obsessed, but that is the jewelry. Let's go ahead and put our little outfit on and then we can go out for the day. Okay guys, so I know you can't really see my head, but this is the outfit. I'm just doing this pink turtleneck sweater from Princess Polly. I will link it down below. I also should have a code coming for you guys soon. I have a haul that I desperately need to film. Um, and then I just paired it with these shorts because I wanted a black pant to go with the black bag. The leather shorts that I actually got from Lulu's. Um, I just knew like the bottom part would show the most, so I just needed a little bit. And then I paired it with this Pita and Jane bag from Princess Polly as well. And then I paired it with my cute little Princess Polly boots. I do have tights on and I can't tell if they're too fair for my rest of my skin tone on my face and stuff. I don't know if they're like looking washed out or not. So I'm going to go look in my other mirror before I leave the house. But let's go back here. There we go, there's the full fit, there she is. But yeah, I just think it's so fun and so cute. Just like a fun little Valentine's themed, a little pink outfit, I'm obsessed. I also got my nails done yesterday. 
and they totally match and I'm just like so obsessed. But yeah, I am all ready so that's gonna wrap it up for this get ready with me video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope to do a little bit more of these in the future. And I will also have everything you need to know regarding Ana Luisa down below, including all of the names and the pieces that I shared with you guys in this video. But yeah, I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching my video and I will see you guys in my next one.